So let's talk about the next steps in your life. Mm -hmm. You're going to quit doing porn. Yes. So So. tell us what, what made you arrive at that decision and how are you transitioning out? Mm -hmm. Um, so I came to that decision. I will say like Twitch has been the best blessing for me because I, for the first time in my life was on a platform. Um, I wasn't even now I'm making money from it, which is amazing, but I wasn't making money from it, but I was just somewhere where people were valuing me for me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I call it a compliment salt, but it's one of the best compliment salts is people coming in and they'll be like, wow, I never would have thought you're like this. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, you have a personality. Yeah. You're a human being. E- exactly. Oh my God. <laughs> and I think, um, you know, in porn, everybody is very tight knit. Um, everybody, you know, talks about everybody's drama. Everyone talks about porn. And um, I was craving intellectuality. Like I was craving um, you know, learning and other stuff. And I just wasn't getting it in my friend group. And I, because I was so like enwrapped with my friends and so enwrapped in porn that I didn't have any notion of like the outside world. Mm-hmm. Um, so getting on Twitch really opened my eyes and a lot of people on there, like, you know, gave me education. Like I built, built a computer. Um, you know, I've done, I built a whole studio all on my own. And, um, just through the experiences and the conversations I've had on there have really made me realize like, oh, you're more than just how you fantasize yourself because I fantasize or fetishize myself, right? Mm-hmm. So it also gave me the understanding that I am I am more than this. And when I was younger, I always, always was like, no matter what happens, I can just up and switch. Mm-hmm. Like, if I don't like this, I can leave. If I'm not making money in this job, I can just move. You know, and I always lived in the moment with no fear of, of, of you know, what could happen. And I always thought positive. Um, so, you know, streaming helps me realize that. And through a lot of the stuff that I've gone through, through a lot of the trauma I've, I've had happen, I just started talking to people about it on that platform. Um, I started writing, like, you know, like, tools to help me get through things. And then I started sharing them with people. And that just made me realize like I've hit all my goals in porn. I've, I've done everything I wanted to do and I want to do something bigger and better. I want to leave my mark, uh, leave my mark. And I want to, I want to be a leader to help lead people to a goal that's bigger than me, a dream that's bigger than me. So, you know, I think I, I'm trying to, I want to get into life coaching. I want to get into just, you know, I want to get into, I call it like kindness coaching. I want to get into helping people realize like how kind the world is, how, how, you know, how not fearful everything is and help people process things the way I did. And I believe that if I get into this next stage of my life and I could be successful and I can make my name as Adriana, but being something more than just the sex worker, Mm -hmm. that that right there would be proof to anybody else that's suffering or anybody else that's forgotten who they are to push their you know, yeah. and that's what I want to help with. That's amazing. Yeah. Isn't it incredible, like, how all of those ex- bad experiences that you had in your life, like, all the trauma that you experienced, that you can take those things and you can turn them into something really good and something yeah. that can help other people. And it becomes, it, whereas it used to be, like, your downfall, it becomes, like, your asset. Yeah, yeah. Which is really Anytime interesting. Anytime there's a negative, there's always a positive. Yeah. Right? So. And it's so hard to get yourself to, like, believe that and yeah. to think that way. Yeah. So how are you going to, so you, are you going to stop shooting for your OnlyFans entirely? Like mm-hmm. when is this change happening? How are you making this change? Um, so I'm kind of working on, uh, getting myself into phases right now. Um, you know, like I would say I'm like in phase one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, so, you know, hopefully, hopefully within the next year and a half, I won't be shooting any sex. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I just have to get everyone to see me as something more first. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, I'm working on a couple of projects to try and kind of launch myself because I want to be uh, considered an activist as well. Mm-hmm. So I have a couple of projects that I'm going to, you know, launch at the same time as I do pushes towards uh, mainstream articles and PR and press like and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's been really cool because I've actually gotten uh, PR, like someone who's like, this is how you should behave if you want to try and get people to see you differently. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have hopes to write a book because I think uh, like face ask. I mean, yeah. I feel like you're in the perfect place to write a book. Yeah. So I want to do like phase two after people see me as something else, you know, release with a book. 
Mm-hmm. Um, I just want to, and I also, uh, I want to get people to start coming to me for advice. So, yeah. you know, I want people to see me as somebody that can offer advice. Uh, next year, I'm going to go back to school, just taking some night classes. So I have some actual um, degree and credibility behind me. Mm-hmm. So I know just in case the way my words can be taken, mm-hmm. um, yeah. so, you know, so I don't hurt anybody uh, while I do these things. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. It's, I, I mean, I experience this all the time when you're trying to convey a message. The way you say it is really important and it's it's hard to say it in the right way yeah because also too like you know when you look at some of these celebrities that you know do all these pr stuff like they have media training Mm -hmm. and i actually got a little bit of media training when i did my playboy tv show Mm -hmm. um and that was somewhat helpful but otherwise like we don't especially like sex workers and someone like you who becomes as big as you do you get zero media training and it's just like thrust into the public eye and just like sit you know what i mean and there's a certain way to convey your ideas and it takes like a little bit of finessing and it's, it's, it's hard. It is. I've gotten firsthand, uh, understanding the words I say and how they can be seen, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, absolutely. 